Hi, my name is Sadie, and today we're going to try to install the OpenMRS standalone version on our machines. To start off, we have to first install the Java Development Kit. You can find that on the Oracle webpage. Here we have to install the Java Development Kit for our machine, so please find the appropriate version, whether it be Windows, Linux, or Mac. So I already have Java installed, so I'm just going to head over to the openmrs.org website and get the standalone package. You can do that by navigating to the Downloads tab and scrolling down to Platform 2.01 and downloading Standalone. This might take a while, but once it's done, you'll get a zip file, which you can open up, and you'll have a folder within that zip file. You can open it up using any archive tool, or just open it if you have it installed on your system. So once you have that, you can drag that to wherever you want, and I have it on my desktop, so I'll just open it from there. So once you open up the file, you'll find openmrs-standalone.jar. You can just open that up, and what that will do is run the server on your system. So this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause this for a second and be right back. Alright, so the server is finally running, and we can go to this port on our local host. The Java applet by itself should have opened up a web page, but if it hasn't, you can go to the following URL once everything is running. So here you can enter the username provided by OpenMRS which is admin and the password being admin123 with a capital A at the beginning. Be sure to choose a location otherwise you won't be able to log in. Once done you have a fully functional version of OpenMRS where you can explore and try to figure out the features. That's just about it for this video. I'll be uploading one on the Enterprise version soon, so be tuned.